Ang pinaka-popular natin na pay, pandesal. Madalas ko, kinakain ng pandesal, almusal. Pwede rin siya sa merienda. Dali, usually, yung iba, o, sinasaw-saw sa kape. Yung iba, nalagyan ng palaman, dairy cream, o kaya mga jam. Throughout the Philippine Islands, mornings are not complete without pandesal, which literally means bread of salt in Spanish. Described as the Filipino's daily bread, it is as essential as rice to the country's diet. Made from wheat flour, water, yeast, lard, and salt, it was the prized bread for the rich during the 16th century. Back then, it was more expensive than rice because its main ingredient wheat flour had to be imported. Its predecessor was the pandesal de suelo, which was baked on the floor of a wood-fired oven and not on a baking tray. This gave the bread a thick crust. Innovations in baking and the availability of inexpensive flour made the pandesal more affordable and eventually the bread of the masses. Ang traditional na pandesal ay niluluto sa bugon. Nang pagdagdag na lasa doon, yung aroma ng kahoy, yung ginagatong mo. Parang ano siya, yung, kumbaga, yung usok niya na sa, ano, sa tinapay, may ikot lang yun. Yung parang yung napapasarap ng lasa niya. Ang masarap yung pandesal, yung medyo may alat siya. Kasi yun ang mga sinawa ng pandesal. Yung pandesal kayo ngayon eh, matamis eh, matamis siya eh. Sweet ngayon. Yun ang nahanap-hanap yung mga dating lasa. Kailangan ang texture niya, yung bogag yung loob, hindi siya yung siksik. Panaderia di Masalang has been baking pandesal for more than 100 years now, in the same way they did back then, using a pogon. The dough was prepared using a large mixer and left to rise for half an hour before it is kneaded, coated with breadcrumbs, and cut into small oval loaves the size of a fist. With the bread's popularity, Young bakers have also added new flavors into the pandesal, turning the all-time favorite into a specialty bread. Kasi ang gusto namin is uh, we're taking the go-to Filipino bread to the next level, di ba? Kaya nag-add kami ng mga colors at saka ng flavors, katulad ng matcha, blueberry, strawberry cream cheese na parang fusion na hindi naman normally nakikita ng mga Pinoy sa mga tinapay natin dito. Yun yung una naming naisip is baka nga dahil trend, trend lang siya, no? But uh, we really wish na we could stay for a long time. And also na hindi lang namin makater yung mga Metro Manila customer namin, but also nationwide or sana international. But even with this craze over the many new flavors, Filipino loyalty for the classic version still remains. Hindi ko naman siya tinatry i-replace kasi even I is a fan of classic pandesal. I still eat the classic pandesal, no? Every morning yung mga bakery na nagbebenta dito, uh, yun nga, sabi nga nila, nothing beats the original. Music